Hey there view, today we are going to go through the reports and dashboard for Lightning Experience module from the admin beginner trail mix. You can find it through learn trails admin beginner and you can see the trail mix there or you can also search for it typing in reports dashboard And you can find the module there. So let's get started. Introduction to reports and dashboard in a lightning experience. Learning objectives. After you have completed this unit, you will be able to phrase business needs for answerable reporting questions, explain the difference between a report dashboard and a report type. Introduction to reports and dashboards. Your business has questions, your Salesforce data has answers. When you get asked to build a report, the request to play comes in form of a question. The question might be something like, which products are my top sellers? Who are my highest value prospects? Which marketing campaigns have the most successful? How satisfied are my customers? Before building a report, the trick is to take the question, ask follow-up questions, write requirements, and then map out those requirements to report criteria. Take the story of Maria Jimenez, the admin at Yursa Mayor Sola. One day, her CEO, Sita Nagapan Alvarez, came to her with questions about the business that she was doing. Especially, she wanted to know which products were top sellers. Maria took Sita's original question and followed up with some clarifying questions. Sita's original question, which products are my top sellers? Maria's follow-up questions, what makes a product a top seller, revenue or quantity? Do you want to see the results grouped by product family? What is your data range? If we stop selling a product, should it show on the report? Requirements. Top sellers here mean quantity rather than revenue. Group products by product family. Show all closed one opportunities. Do not show inactive products. Criteria. Report type means opportunities with products. Report format equals summary. Group equals product family. Show all opportunities. Date field equals close date. Range current financial year. Filter product equals active. Filter opportunity stage equals closed one. Filter logic one and two. Now at this moment you might be looking at the criteria column and thinking what does all that mean indeed. Rest assured we will cover those topics in detail as you work towards earning your badge for this module. The point is most people at your company will come to you with these questions just like the one Sita asked Maria. Here are some typical questions people at Yursa, Mayor Sola ask Maria. Lincoln Ulrich. An account ex executive planning the day's calls asks which prospects his team should contact first. Roberto Alvarez, the CEO, analyzing deflection rate month over month since rolling out that self-service community last summer, asks for cases over the past year. Sita, the CEO, busily crafting the company's annual plan and making decisions about where to take the company next, asks which cities have the most leads. For each of these scenarios, a report or dashboard can provide the insight each team member needs to take action and go big. Whether it's a day, month or a year, you can be the person who translates the question into the report or dashboard they in need. Read on to learn how to get started with reports and dashboards for your company. And if you like videos, check out this reports and dashboards overview with you. What is a report? In its simplest form, a report is a list of records like opportunities or counts that meet the criteria you define. Reports are much more than simple lists. 
to get the data stored you need you can filter group and do math on records you can even display them graphically in a chart when Sita asked Maria which products are top sellers, Maria created a report that returned a list of all opportunities with products. And then she filtered to show only closed one opportunities to achieve products from uh, this financial year, grouped by product family, sum the total number sold, display the results in vertical bar charts so CETA could easily see the results. This sort of advanced analysis is one reason why reports are Maria's go-to tool when she has questions about her business. Everyone at Yursa Maya Sala loves Maria's reports. Every report is stored in a folder. Report folders determine how reports are accessed and who can access them to view, edit or manage. Folders can be public, hidden or shared. Your controller who has access to the contents of the folder based on rules, permissions, public groups, territories and license types. You can make folders available to your entire organization or you can make it private so that only the owner has access. What is a dashboard? A dashboard is a visual display of key metrics and trends for records in your org. The relationship between a dashboard component and a report is one-to-one. -one. For each dashboard component there is a single source report. However, you can use the same report in multiple dashboard components on a single dashboard. For example, use the same report in both a bar pie chart and you can display multiple dashboard components on a single dashboard page as well creating a powerful visual display and a way to consume multiple records that often have a common theme like sales performance or customer support. Like reports, dashboards are stored in folders which control who has access. If you have access to a folder, you can view its dashboards. However, to view the dashboard components, you need access to the underlying reports as well. Each dashboard has a running user whose security settings determine which data to display in a dashboard. In the running user is a specific user, all dashboard viewers see data based on the security settings of the user regardless of their own personal security settings. For this reason you will want to choose the running user wisely so as to not open up too much visibility. For example, set the sales manager as a running user for a leaderboard for her team. This allows her team members to view the leaderboard for their individual team, but not other teams. Dynamic dashboards are dashboards for which the running user is always a locked in user. This way each user sees their dashboard according to his or her own access level. If you are concerned about having too much access, dynamic dashboards might be the way to what is a record type? A report type is a template that makes reporting easier. The report type determines which fields and records are available for use when creating a report. This is based on the relationship between a primary object and its related objects. For example, with the contacts and accounts report type, contacts is the primary object and account is the related object. Reports fields. Reports display only records that meet the criteria defined in the report type. Out of the box, Salesforce provides a set of predefined standard report types. Don't see all the fields you want, you might need to create a custom report type. For example, say Lincoln mentions Maria on Chatter to ask which cities have the most leads. Maria can find out by creating a leads report based on the lead standard report type. But if Lincoln only wants leads to have activities, then the lead standard report type doesn't quite do the trick because it returns all leads both with and without activities. That doesn't worry Maria though. She knows that she can create a custom report type named leads with activities that use leads as the primary object and activities as the related object which only returns leads with activities. Then all she has to do is create a report based on her new leads with activities report type. 
quiz. Uh, dashboard is a list of records that meet the criteria you define, a visual display of key metrics and trends for records in your org, a list of key tasks to be completed in your org, a view of your computer's memory usage. I will say B. A report determines which fields and records are available for use when creating a report, who can access the report, the data range used for the report, colors, unava colors available in a dashboard. I would say A, which fields and records are available for use when creating a report. But let's have a look. The report out determine which fields and records are available to use when creating a report. Okay, just double check the first one and that should be it. And 100 points. Let's tackle the next unit.